Hey everyone, Ace Lawson here, and uh, welcome back to Doom and Destiny. Please remember to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. It seems like, you know, well, we left exactly off where we started. Go, don't worry, for the Elfish Queen, we will protect her. Alright, that's good. I want to get the running person. Oh my, random encounters everywhere. Oh, great. <laughs> can I go talk to the bad guys? <laughs> go, we can handle this. Dang. So last time she just told us to remember to flush. Don't forget guys, we gotta flush. Okay, let's go this way. Back up this way. Try and collect as much as we can because you never know what we might find in here. Cause we can never visit this place again. Cause these random encounter people are going to actually destroy the entire thing. Oh good, we got the key. That key is what leads to the uh, back door of the MacGuffin Castle. Remember in like one of the first episodes or maybe the second one? We went back because we didn't search the whole castle. Yeah, that key will lead us to uh, the back rooms where there's some hidden stuff. Just got to keep running. All right. Is it this one? No. I know it's one of these ones we have to go this way on it. There it is. I guess these are the magic rings. And I guess no traps, too. I guess. I hope. Magic items, here we come. We have the red ring. We have the green ring. We have the yellow ring. And we have the blue ring. Super cool. Yeah, I guess. We just need to remember to wear them. We aren't that retarded, right? Uh, okay, now we're going to wear them. <laughs> okay, red ring goes to Johnny. Blue ring goes to Nigel. Green ring goes to Francis. And yellow ring goes to Mike. Perfect. Those rings give them each special little powers. And we might actually want to make sure we're good to fight because we're about to go into a fight scene. <laughs> Save. Here we go. Does this look familiar, guys? <laughs> oh, episode five. <laughs> oh my god, is everybody okay? That was a long fall. Can I hit these blocks? I want to hit one. Let me hit one. Let me hit one. Dang it. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish we could get the coins. Can we get the coins? I'm not sure. I don't think we can. All right. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I can't go up to any of them. What is this noise? Oh, Bowser. So cool. A flying ship. Can we have one, Francis? Well, I guess we can. After all, we are heroes. We now have these fancy rings. We deserve a flying ship. I am the mighty flying dragon, Richard. I have been sent by the unnamed himself to deal with you. What did he say? I can't hear him with all this noise. I think he is a flying, flying something and he wants to make a deal with us. Maybe he is a merchant and wants to sell us his flying ship. Ask him, hurry. Excuse me, since we are heroes, would you consider the idea of selling us your flying ship? What? No, why would I? I am here to kill you. <laughs> so, what did he say? He said, why wouldn't I? I'm here to deal with you. <laughs> oh, they're idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, you're awesome. Fuck you, asshole. How dare you? No one makes fun of Richard. Prepare to die. What the fuck, Richard? <laughs> so what now? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I think he wants to sell us something else with the ship. Is he trying to scam us? Maybe we shouldn't trust a flying merchant. Should we buy the ship somewhere else? There must be a flying ship dealer somewhere in this world. Maybe you're right. Listen, we talked and we thought that right now we don't need a flying ship. 
We are still at a low level and prefer to fight some more. Random monsters in the country. I didn't know it was going to continue. Sorry for the hassle, but we are fine. Thanks for your time. What? What is going on? Did I miss something? Why are they acting like this? <laughs> What's going on? I can't take my sun bath with all this shouting. I'm sorry to disturb you, Tan. Tan? Is that his name? But we have a hero problem. Really? I can't see them. Crap. This bulwark is too high. I can't see them. Anyway, no reason to linger. Send all your troops and kill them. As, yes, as you command. I don't think they are here to sell us something. Why do I have the strange feeling that Mike screwed up everything? Oh, it's not a feeling, it's a fact. Good job, Mike. Now, you can actually kill all these guys, but if you do, something strange happens and I don't know because personally I've never been able to beat them. Oh man. Oh, I wish I could beat them. This would be so cool. I mean, if I really try, I might be able to. I'm not going to heal myself at all during this battle. I'm just going to hit him. And if I win, I win. And if I don't, I don't. Whatever. Because I know what happens if we lose, but I have no idea what happens if we win. Well, we died. But that's okay, because it's probably going to happen anyways. And it doesn't really ruin anything. Ouch. Are we still alive? Yes, you are. But why? Yes, why? Why didn't you kill us? I mean, thanks. <laughs> you see, despite the recent changes in the way of dealing with our enemies due to the influences of the new unnamed ally, I still enjoy questioning and torturing my victims. There is nothing more satisfying than giving hope to your prisoners, making them think they can't escape, and then crush their expectations when they least expect it. But first... Some questioning. What are these? Rings? Yes, I know, but what are they really? Magic items. I sense great power from these items, but I have the feeling that there is something more than magic. I ran a few tests, but as you can see, my mushroom henchmen do not have hands, and my yellow reptilian allies have no opposable thumbs. They can't work properly with their small claws. And my hands are very big. Too big. <laughs> Maybe I will spare your lives if you give me some information. Tempting promise, but we all know that you are not going to let us go. You just told that, big yellow asshole. And since we don't know much about those rings, I think our conversation ends here. And I want my lawyer. I see. Well, I guess I will leave them here on the table in plain view just to torture you and raise your hopes. Bwahaha! <laughs> what a jerk. And now, what shall we do? That it is not cool, man. Not cool at all. Mike, this is all your fault. What? What have I done? The problem is what you have not done. If you were the super cleric we told you to be at the beginning of our adventure, you could have simply summoned your vengeful god to help us now. But no, you wanted to be a pirate. Pirates are lame. Uh, yes, my plan worked. What just happened? I don't know. I prayed the pirate's god, the flying monster made of noodle, to help us. And boom! Here we are. Free! Well, it was my idea, so it's okay. It looks like those pipes exploded, causing the ceiling to crumble. Maybe we should find the cause of this explosion. I don't think that a spaghetti monster made all this mess. Unfaithful ninja. <laughs> yes, whatever you say. Look, our stuff. Do we have all of our rings and everything? Just want to check all that. Yes, we do. They're all on. Okay. Stuck. I'm going to save here, but not on this one. I'm going to save on 
two because I'll leave the third one open, the third slot, so that if we decide later on we want to come back and see if we can actually defeat them, then we'll try. Okay, I guess let's go. <laughs> oh, I was so scared. I, I didn't tell you guys this yet, but basically soon the whole airship's going to explode and it's going to be on a timer and you can actually collect all the gold pieces and get all the enemies like killed in the time frame you just have to be quick about it but it's like insanely fast so i don't know if we're going to be able to do it but we'll do our best in case of deadly flaming steam pull the blue lever to turn off the stream Nice. I'm not sure what that changed, but cool. Maybe it turned off something over here. Aha. That probably, yep, turned off the flame up there. The funny part is, is if you get a hundred of these coins, they'll give you a, you'll get a heart. Because, you know, it's like the one-up system. Because, I don't know if you guys have noticed this yet, but it's kind of Mario themed. <laughs> Hate to break it to you if you hadn't noticed that yet. And this is clearly what it is now. No way! Mamma Mia, heroes... Uh, should I do an accent, guys? Or or would that be a bad thing to do? <laughs> no, I won't do it. I, I don't want to put you guys through pain and suffering. <laughs> Mamma Mia, heroes, you're alive. I'm so relieved. You are? Yes, it's me, Mr. Mario Razi, I think, I don't know. Wow, Mr. Mario Razi, the most famous Italian plumber of the entire universe. Oh, oh, don't exaggerate, please. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. Am I dreaming? Hurry, Francis, pinch me so I'll know if I'm sleeping. Um, okay. Oh my, that felt good. <laughs> Sorry for that show, Mr. Razi. Were you the one who saved us from prison? Yes, it was me. I just had to raise the hydraulic pressure of the steam into the pipes beneath your cell, causing a small explosion. Wow, you are amazing. Yes, thanks a lot. Unfortunately, the process damaged this flying ship, which is about to crash now. We need to escape as soon as we can. Oh, good. And now what? A warp zone which can let you escape is hidden in the Richard's cabin. You have to find it. Well, at least it's better than crashing with this flying ship. Okay, so no time to waste. Let's go. I'll stay here trying to slow down the process and gain some time. Thank you, Mr. Ozzy. No need to thank me. I can't let you... De no need to thank me. I can't let you be defeated by the unnamed. Oh my, what's going on? Yep. I can't remember what actually starts it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save real quickly, just so I don't accidentally start it and then we're screwed. I'm gonna pull this lever. The ship is about to explode. You have 15 minutes to find the warp zone in the captain's room. You should save now and be careful. To not overwrite the save state with a doom save file, one with low time and no hope to salvation. Okay, save. Good luck, you'll need it. Huh. Well, I guess we're starting. Should we just spend our last few minutes with Mr. Rozzy? Hurry! Nah, we'll just stand here and waste time. I mean, we have a save anyways. So guys, uh, how, how have you been? You know, I've just been chilling. In all seriousness, though, I'm actually going to end the episode here. Because, you know, I want you guys to live in suspense. Slowly watch that time tick down. <laughs> and our heroes might die. Okay, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Doom and Destiny. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, God, no! Oh, come on. For fuck's sake. Ah!